What's up and welcome to my GS66 Stealth Unboxing. This should have an RTX 3080 Max Q in it. Um, some really good specs for the size. That said, it is an Intel chip as well, so gotta keep that in mind. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and open this up. I'll be doing a full review of this laptop as well, which I'm really excited about. Um, Go ahead and finish opening this thing up. Quacha. Go. Quacha. This box is really well taped. All right, so we have a box within a box. <clears throat> All right. Go ahead and put that guy down. This is the MSI box now. <clears throat> so guys, I'm happy to answer questions in chat at the end of the live stream, but I'm gonna try to keep the questions just related to the GS66 Stealth for this video, because this will go up on my channel as a VOD as well. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's on the inside here i'm excited this is like uh this is tailored specifically for people that really want the most gpu performance per pound you don't really care about cpu performance perhaps you just want something that's thin and light and you can game on the go nice now that's a nice um classy looking box let's see here we also have another box this probably has our power brick in it Go ahead and take a look at this guy. There's our power brick. Pretty standard. Uh, looks like... Trying to see the wattage. I'm sure it's on here somewhere. 230 watt power brick. Let's go ahead and put this back nice and neat. Man, you are a legend. You just did six hours a long stream, respect. Yeah, so this one's gonna be quicker. I'm just getting the unboxing done so we can do the B-roll on this thing because we need to get the B-roll done. The cameras are all set up, so I wanna make sure that we get this going. Uh, Brandon, I really appreciate your dedication towards providing good content to people. Six hours and counting, <laughs> respect. Thanks, dude. All right, so I don't wanna get too distracted from the focus of the unboxing. Thank you guys for the comments. I'll look at your guys' comments and chat at the end of this. So thank you very much for all the comments. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Time to take a look at the Mama Jama. Whoosh. Very nice, very nice. Now this was sent over by ZTech PC, so big shout out to those guys. Um, they did also repaste this as well with their own thermal paste, which should, in theory, show significantly improved temperatures, but we'll have to test that out as well. So that'll be part of the review whenever I post it. Okay, so this is packaged nicely. We've got a plastic wrap, and then we've got a secondary cloth wrap. Watch ya. I love how thin and compact this thing is. That's impressive. And it feels really solid. Let's see if the bottom feels. Okay, the bottom feels better than last generation, but this is still has some flex on the bottom. But my last GS66 I reviewed had a lot of squeaking when you pushed on the bottom, which wasn't great. Uh, this one seems improved. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and take off the plastic. Very nice. Let's go ahead and set this to the side for a moment. All right, we got ourselves our own warranty card right here from Michael Electronics. I think this is the company that owns the Tech PC, I believe. Um, and then we also have a quick start guide. Looks like this is sealed. Let's open it. I need to see what's inside of here. So we got our quick start guide. And then, uh, what is this? Looks like this is hotkey recovery function. 
guide in a bunch of different languages. So if you mess up the vials or something. And then this just covers all the ports and all of that in several different languages as well. All right. Very nice. I really like the packaging. Two thumbs up. Just fold all of this neatly. Now, I do know this comes with a MUX switch, uh, which can help enhance performance, especially in CPU bound games like CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege. So this might be a great laptop to consider if you're an eSports player. Time to take a look at the Mama Jama, the big dog right here. We got ourselves a nice large microfiber cloth with an MSI logo on it. And here is the laptop. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hinge. So I push on it. Very sturdy, a little bit of wobble in place. Not bad, can you open it one-handed? Yes, you can, that's very nice. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do some uh, flex testing. So around the top, no flex at all. Around the side, no flex, literally zero. No flex all around the side, let's check the middle out. Some minor flex in the middle, but still very rigid. That's good. Trackpad is clickable even at the top. That's, that's good. The bottom is a little easier to click though. So overall trackpad is large, large and in charge. Let me go ahead and zoom in on the laptop here. <clears throat> Okay, so let's take a look at the ports. On the left here, we've got a USB-C headphone jack and a two USB-A's and the ethernet port, an exhaust port. On the back, we have two exhaust ports. <clears throat> On the left side, we have another exhaust port, the power adapter port. I believe this is a Thunderbolt port. I need to double check that, but it should be uh, Thunderbolt, I believe. And then we have HDMI and USB type A. On the front, no ports, just a nice clean look. This is, I think, the Stealth uh, Black version, and it looks super, super clean. If you're someone who likes more of a muted styling, this laptop is probably for you. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Check the, uh, the hinge wobble here. So if I torque it, only a little bit of wobble, not bad at all. So overall, I really like the feeling and the build quality that this is putting off. Um, let me go ahead and plug it in. And then we're also gonna take a look at the power limits that the, uh, the BIOS or that is set in Windows in the NVIDIA control panel. And then that'll, that'll be the unboxing for right now. <laughs> You're working too much, save this for tomorrow, LOL. Fingerprint magnet. My hands are pretty clean right now, but I don't see any fingerprints left over. I'm sure it could gather some fingerprints on it though, so definitely something to keep in mind. The darker finishes tend to do that a little bit more. All right. I've got five different laptops plugged in right now with this thing. Oh my God. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch to the other cam. And we're gonna go ahead and get through the setup process.
There it is. Very cool. All right, and now let's go ahead and switch cameras. Very nice. Okay, so United States. Let's go and take a look at this keyboard a little closer too. Oh, I love the keyboard feel. This is like my favorite style of keyboard overall. Like I could type so fast on this keyboard. Feels light. You can just your fingers just glide over that thing. Um, the touchpad is so large. Whoops! What did I do? <gasps> the touchpad is so large. It's it's kind of ridiculous actually. <laughs> uh. Like if you're someone who likes a large, wide touchpad, this is great. Um, that's it. It's honestly, it's a little too large because sometimes your wrist can hit it on the right over here. Kind of depends on where you put your right hand wrist. If I was advising them, I'd say make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, this is uh, no gamer accents. That's right, Devin. If you're someone who wants just kind of a clean, pure looking laptop that you can use in the business setting environment, but can still game with, this is certainly a good option to consider. Looks like it, is that Windows 10 uh, Pro? I think it might be, I gotta log in here. Final space t-shirt close up. This show is great if you haven't checked it out. <clears throat> oh man, Windows Hello. Let's set that up. Yes, please. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we've got to create a pin. Okay. Go ahead and undo all of these. Touchpad is really nice. looking over this keyboard. This makes me so jealous. I love this keyboard layout so much more than the Razer I have. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit from streaming for seven hours today. <laughs> so apologize, but we're going to get through this. So who would want to buy this laptop? I like. I think it's students and business people that want more of a muted look and something that's ultra portable and they don't care particularly about CPU performance. I mean, you're gonna get solid CPU performance with an Intel chip, but it's just not gonna be able to beat a Ryzen chip right now. Um, and that's who I think this laptop was made for basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer any questions you guys have on the GS66. I've got the chat pulled up here. Let's take a look. Okay. Why do you favor the Razer over this? Um, the Razer I think has uh, a better display, 4K 120 hertz display. And that's the main reason why I really like the Razer Blade Pro 4K 120. And it's just, that's honestly the main reason. Um, 
I also love the razor blade build quality a little bit more because it's a unibody chassis. This is not a unibody chassis, but the build quality is still really good here. So. Okay, we're logged in. Very nice. Got a lot of little different pop-ups. Got to move through these. Next to that. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Dragon Center software, see what we got in here. I guess we have to scroll through it to be able to agree. All right. I'm afraid I may have just sold my soul. Okay. <laughs> but a razor blade costs way more. That just depends, Azmit, on which model you're getting and what specs are included in all of that. Do do do. Let's turn the volume down because we keep getting sounds coming from the laptop. The razor expensive area is better than the blade anyway. I think that just depends. Alright, what is your favorite PC game to play? Apex Legends probably, or Black Desert Online. When will the Ryzen counterpart come out? I don't know, but a lot of different uh, laptop manufacturers want to use Ryzen processors and they just don't have access yet right now because of limited supply. Asus got a bunch of them. Uh, initially, so I do expect a Ryzen laptop version of this machine to come out probably sometime in the first half of 2021. So if you're patient, you might be able to get that. That said, like I said, if you're not someone that focuses on CPU performance, this is still, I think, a viable option. But know that you will get more processing power in it if you wait, if you can wait. That just depends on the person, you know? And there, it's not confirmed that this will get a Ryzen processor. That's just my guess. There's no way to really know officially because MSI has not said so. Here is the MUX switch right here. Let me go ahead and get closer to the screen so you can see it. So this is the thing that we would use to um, set up a uh, maximum performance for eSports titles like in CPU bound games right here. You would hit switch it to the discrete graphics like that and you have to reboot the system. Um, and then you'll get more performance. Right now we're in hybrid mode, so this means that we are using NVIDIA Optimus to enhance the battery life, which is probably the way you wanna keep it so you have more battery life, uh, unless you're gonna play an eSports title. No, I'm not giving this one away, LOL Carter. Uh, this was sent to me by ZTech PC. It's a review unit that will be going back to ZTech PC when I'm done with my review. Now, it looks like up here we can change the power profile, extreme performance, balanced, silent, and super battery, as well as user defined. So, gaming mode. Here's even more settings here. So, I think under this option, we can customize. Ooh, we can do a quick OC on the GPU. And then I believe Cooler Boost turns on max fan as well. There you go, there's max fan turned on. Go ahead and turn that off for right now. But the fans are, you know, they're pretty loud for such a thin and light laptop. So let's keep it on balance mode. Um, and then there's user mode. Looks like that allows you to set a custom fan. Looks like advanced. Ooh, here's your fan profile curve. So if you want to set a specific curve for your GS66, you can do that right here. Very nice. And uh, let's go back to balance though. Let's see what other settings we have in here. We can turn on and off the Windows key, uh, switch the FN key for the function key. I believe that makes it so that we can do these without touching. No, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure what that does. I'll have to do some more testing. Uh, we can turn the webcam on and off, so if you want no one to be able to use it, I guess that's a privacy setting. Um, and then you can add a crosshair. Oh, that's cool. It centers a crosshair in the middle of your display so that you can, uh, you can have like an extra crosshair and, and you don't have to set it up in game. Like if you're playing a game where that's an advantage, that might help you out. 
here we can see the specs. Oh, it looks like this one's actually a 3070. So I thought they were sending me a 3080, but turns out this is a 3070 with an i7 10850H. Um, very nice. Let's go ahead and keep going. Looks like we have different color profiles. We have gamer, anti-blue, sRGB, office, and movie mode. Looks like that's about it for this setting. Looks like tools. Oh, right here you can set the battery so it does not charge up to the maximum, which will help with longevity of your battery life. That's really nice. Um, so this, this is something I think all manufacturers should be doing. It's not, not very many of them are doing it yet though. But I'm gonna keep it to 100% for now since I'm gonna need to do battery tests later. All right. So that's the Dragon Center software. Let's see if we can pull up the NVIDIA control panel. Now I'm gonna have to do all the driver optimizations and install everything. But for now, this will be um, just like a quick preview of the laptop to see what we have going on. Um, I'd like to do a quick test to see what kind of power limit the GPU has. <clears throat> so with that in mind, let me go ahead and load up my, my uh, utilities and drivers here real quick. And we'll do a quick power test and see what's going on under the hood. The new art, like the new RTX 3070s, needs that. <gasps> oh no, we've got Norton antivirus on this. No, so sad. I really, I really don't like having antivirus installed from the beginning because to me, it's it's like a virus installed basically already because you have to re go remove it and it takes a while, reduces performance, just annoys most users because they just have to uninstall it. Remove, there we go. So, Norton antivirus uninstall. No, do not want to see your offer. No, I do not want to reinstall it. <laughs> uninstall. I don't want to tell you why. Oh my gosh. Um, what do you do with the laptops you review and finish reviewing? I send the, this one I'm gonna review and send back to ZTech PC who sent it over for, uh, as a review unit. We're gonna go and install the new driver. See, I even have to re, I still have to restart my machine. <laughs> Cause of Norton antivirus, that's so annoying. They really need to not do that. No longer include antiviruses, in my opinion, in new laptops. It's just, they do it to reduce cost, but I feel like it just annoys people, so. You use a touchpad really well. Thanks, Road Trip. Hello, <laughs> well. Okay. Let's go ahead and get uh, Heaven Benchmark installed. And then we'll have to do a restart. All right. Okay, we're restarting and then we'll test the GPU power limits and that'll be the end of this video. I'm gonna look for any specific questions you guys have. This is an i7 uh, 10870H with an RTX 3070 Max-Q. That fan is pretty loud. Uh, I also have my Alienware fan running at the same time. So I'm streaming off my Alienware right now. So And it's on a speakerphone right now, so it's also a bit louder. You guys are picking it up more than normal. So keep that in mind. Um, the fan on the GS66 is actually pretty much un 
You can't hear it at all compared to the Alienware. What you're hearing right now is the Alienware's fan. Is this 80 watts? I don't know. We're about to find out. I'm really curious what the uh, I'm really curious what the the GPU TDP is. Any better overall option than the MSI GE66 with RTX 2070 Super 10th Gen or better specs under 2K budget? Uh, yeah, Alonzo, you'll definitely want to get the I think in my opinion the Strix G17 over that one. Hey, there's Windows Hello working. That's quick. I like all I had to do was look at it and it basically instantly went. Wonder what that error was. Okay, doesn't look like Heaven Benchmark installed properly. Let me go ahead and try to remove that. Do a quick reinstall. All right, and uh, there's the Heaven Benchmark. What is the TDP of the Aorus G15? Um, feel free to hop into the, the uh, I did a whole live stream benchmarking the Aorus 17G today, uh, and I saw it spike up to 105 watts at the most or so, but most of the time in games it only went up to 90 watts, which was lower than I was hoping. I wonder why it doesn't want to, uh, Heaven Benchmark is not interested in running right now. That's too bad. I don't know why. Uh, well, we'll have to see what it is in another stream. So just taking a quick look at the, the, the specs here, you can see i7-10-8750H or 10-870H, 8-core Intel CPU. Um, and then if we go to the the display, we'll be able to see the, right now we're on integrated graphics. I suppose I can open HW info as well. Let's check out what we can see in there. All right, here's the summary from HW info. I can go ahead and zoom in on that so you guys can read that better. Nice, okay. Why is it still Intel? The reason is pretty clear. There's just limited supply of AMD CPUs right now. So they, you know, all these companies are being forced to offer Intel CPUs instead of, um, instead of uh, AMD CPUs, because there's only so many AMD CPUs to go around. So you can see RTX 3070 mobile right here. Very nice. 16 gigs of RAM. With DDR4, 3200 megahertz. Wait, no, this is, uh, looks like we have two channels. So I think this actually has 32. So 16 and 16. So we're getting 32 total gigs of RAM on this machine, I think. Yeah, right here. Installed physical memory, 32 gigs. So this may have also been customized by ZTech PC. This may not be the standard. Uh, model right here, and I'll need to change the thumbnail to match the specs, but I'll have to do that later. Um, what is the power of the GPU? I'd like to test that, but I don't have a good way to test it unless I install Time Spy, which immediately won't take long if we want to just throw it up here. Should take just a few minutes to download at most. 
Because I don't know why the Heaven Benchmark's not running, but it does not want to run. Let's see if I can try running it through here. I am not seeing it. Let me go ahead and set this back to the wide angle camera. There we go. Who won the giveaway? Uh, Moby won the giveaway today. Congratulations to him. Uh, if you want to check out the giveaway live stream, you can check my live streams on my channel to see the whole info about that. You can like watch everything happen. Um, okay. Steam. Still installing. Okay, there it is. All right, let me go and log into the Steam account here. I think it may have been in the middle of installing when I rebooted the system, so I hope that doesn't affect GeForce now. Will I review the speakers before I end the stream? Sure, I can I can go ahead and give you a quick impression of the speakers as well. While well, everything's downloading here. So this is the song that I always use to test speakers because it's a nice blend of music tones and it also doesn't infringe any um, copyrights as well, so that's nice for me. Okay, so you guys ready to hear the sound? Um, I do have, keep in mind my Alienware is still loud, so you're going to hear the fans on the Alienware. Okay, max volume, let's go ahead and play. Okay, so the speakers are quite loud, but I would say they don't have very much bass to them. So, probably be pretty good for watching Netflix, but they're not as good as some of the speakers that I have seen around. Pretty flat sounding. Yeah, I wouldn't say the speakers are amazing. They're just, they're, they have good volume though. So, um, so if you're really look, looking for a volume just to be able to hear the movie, because some laptops just don't have enough volume really, um, that's when I'd say the advantage of these speakers are, but the quality of the sound, I would, it's like middle level, especially for a laptop at this price point. I wouldn't say it's above average, maybe just average-ish, you know? Okay. So, I've got HW info here. Let me go ahead and switch it over to sensor mode for HW info. There we go. And then uh, this will tell us how high. This will tell us how high the temps get and also how high the uh, the GPU gets when we're running Time Spy. Ooh. It's not finding the NVIDIA GPU right now. You know, we should go ahead and reset it too to also be not using NVIDIA Optimus while we're here. Let's go to discrete mode only. And we'll go for the reboot. Oh, wait. <laughs> the NVIDIA GPU was still uh, installing, lol. Do we know the US price of this? Not uh, off the top of my head. I need to check and then I'll update the thumbnail to match the price as well. Is the 2060 even good anymore? Yeah, I'd say it's still a good GPU. You're just not going to get like, you know, insane performance and it's not going to be performed very well for RTX based titles. 
That's probably the biggest downside to the 2060. Are there any 3060 series laptops? Uh, I will be reviewing the GF65 then soon, so if you don't want to miss out on that review, you'll want to hit that subscribe button. But that'll probably be in about a couple weeks when I'll get that done. So I could try switching now to my headphones too, my headset. This will give you guys a little better audio for me talking as well. All right. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I sat down, Windows Hello just instantly found me, which is really nice. Okay. Let's. We need to make sure, <laughs> we need to make sure NVIDIA is actually updated before we run this. What's the equivalent of a 3070 Max-Q? Is it better or worse than a 2070 Super? Uh, is the 2070 Super a Max-Q or Max-P? Because that's, um, it's going to make a big difference. And also, it's hard for me to make that comparison until I've actually tested the laptop, you know? I want to make sure I benchmark it before I give uh, hard numbers, what's better and what's not. Is there a good muck switch AMD laptop right now? I am not sure, Daniel. I, th I think there's some Tongfang chassis that have that. Ignacio, just sub, man. Thanks, dude. What is this laptop's TDP? We're about to find that theme. Um, we're actually uh, trying to test Time Spy right now, and then it'll give us a rough idea. Wonder what is going on with this. There's like a display within a display on the screen right now. So in the video description of this live stream or unboxing video, as you will, uh, there is a spreadsheet that has all the RTX 3000 laptops listed out. So if you're looking to figure out, you know, price shop and compare, you can check that spreadsheet to give you a, a good idea of what's out there and what's available. So we're just getting the latest driver from NVIDIA right now. Then we'll run that time spy test. XMG Neo 15 that has a MUX switch. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, that's, I think that is one of the ones that have a MUX switch with AMD processors so far that we know of. Caleb, it, it's always going to be that way. Can't get bothered by that. I'm buying the XMG Neo 17. I can't wait. That laptop is going to be awesome. Yeah, man, that, that's pretty cool. Waits for the restart before NVIDIA updates. I know that's some bad timing on my part over like two times in a row. Okay, we are on the latest NVIDIA drivers now. Hooray. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and swap this around. Also, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick restart because we're going to get a little screen bug error there. Where was the giveaway video? If you want to check the full giveaway live stream, it's going to be under my live stream section onto my channel if you want to go check that out. What kind of headphones am I using? These are MMX 300s from Bear Dynamic. I thought we got rid of those Max something variants it's it's probably something about wattage isn't it um yeah it's they say it's gone but it's not really gone people are still using it in marketing materials it's a giant giant marketing mess right now life question what's your morning routine like <laughs> cat stops left to talk about another stream because i want to keep this about the gs66 
Will I benchmark it? I'll just run the time spy at the end of this, and then I'll be doing a whole benchmarking live stream of this laptop. So if you don't want to miss out on the whole benchmarking live stream, you'll want to hit that subscribe button. Okay. Man, that Windows Hello is awesome. It's so quick and reliable. My Razer Blade Pro has it too, and I really want my next laptop to have it now that I've had it. All right. Boom. Oops, I did not do the right password. Okay. Oh, you guys couldn't see it anyway. All right. 3D Mark. Get HW info going here. Sensors. Is this the latest sensors? Do we have NVIDIA? There's our NVIDIA GPU temps and voltages. So let's go ahead and hop into 3D Mark now and see how this does in Time Spy. Is there anything else you guys would like to know about the laptop here real quick beforehand? With, you know, in addition? Something I can test for you guys. I think, I think I've covered everything. Build quality. Keyboard, touchpad, display wobble. Okay, here we go. Make sure this camera is set up well. <laughs> oh, I should set, uh, I gotta set max profile. Max performance here. Extreme performance. And we're going to do a cooler boost as well. Boom. Okay. Now we need to... <laughs> Probably should restart this and cancel it and restart it here. See, now that's the sound of the fans going right there. Okay. Time spy. Running a window. Okay. Boom. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, Neo, it, it is admittedly a thin and light machine, right? So you, you, it's very, very few thin and lights have really quiet fans. But I don't know that how badly, I don't know how badly you need to use the fans no matter what. You know, like maybe it's okay using the machine without max fans and still having different, decent temperatures. I need to do my stress test and find out. Is this laptop price going down in, after February? I have no idea, Azmit, but uh, probably once the Intel CPUs come out and the Ryzen CPUs come out, maybe there will be some reduction in price on the older Intel 10th gen laptops. Here we go. Time spy. Like, it's going to take a little while for a price to go down for sure. It's not going to happen right away. Do you think there will be a 3080 mobile with 200 watts? If so, do you think there will be a big difference versus the 150 watts version? Um, there certainly will be a difference. I mean, we've got more CUDA cores than we've had in a mobile CPU, so and they, they like power. So I, I definitely think there's going to be a performance advantage for a 200 watt versus 150, but I don't think it'll be huge. There will be a difference, though. And then also a... Uh, like a, the bigger difference though between like an 80 watt and 150 watt that's a huge difference in performance but the difference between 150 and 200 i think will be smaller on a per watt basis but you don't know we, we have to see it test it and find out exactly is there a webcam yes there is a webcam right here along with a windows uh hello sensor set up there I need to see a Zephyrus G15 with a 3070. I know, Bidwells, I've got a review of that coming. You'll just have to uh, check that out later. Um, it's going to be in February, like, you know, second or third week in February is when I should be getting that laptop in. So there will be a Zephyrus G15 review on the channel, though. Yes, the the giveaway is done, Anarig. I'd much rather have the Zephyrus G15 with the 3080. Um, 
That's understandable, but it's one of those situations, too, where the Zephyrus is probably going to be sold out a lot more than this laptop. And depending on what you need, this laptop still may work well. Like, this this laptop definitely has some advantages over the Zephyrus, like the Windows Hello. Um, so, I, I don't know. I, if I were to pick between them, I'd probably go Zephyrus G15. But it just depends a lot on your situation. And I haven't done all the, re the benchmarks and everything yet, so... Reserve judgment until I do the full benchmarks and testing. The wattage problem with laptops at the moment is something I've never had to think about before. Which component part of the laptop do I need to check to find out the wattage? So it would be the CPU and the GPU wattage smithers. Those are the two key components that you need to know the wattage of because that's both the CPU and GPU dramatically change performance depending on your wattage. So again, the, the, the key thing to keep in mind about this laptop is even if it does score lower, uh, that you got to think about this laptop from a points per pound basis because that's why people buy it. You know, they want something super thin and light and that can still game uh, really well. So if it can do that, then there's at least a market for it, you know? But then you also have to consider what is this, how does this laptop stack up against the competition like the Zephyrus G15 or G14? So, okay, here's our score. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping for above 9,000. Let's see if we can get above 9,000. 9,180. Okay. All right. That's pretty good for a 3070. Um, the Oris 15G from earlier today only got like 90. I think it was 90. I have to double check. Let me see. Um... These are, the, these are the benchmarks I got from the Oris with a 3080 Max-Q time spy of 9477. Wow, that is so close to this one. That's only a 300 points difference. That's crazy. So this is a 3070. It's only 300 points different from a 3080 Max-Q. This is impressive. Um, now let's see what our wattage was. All right, so the NVIDIA... It peaked at 105 watts. That's a good sign. Let me go ahead and just run it in a window. Custom run. Let's do the graphics test one. We'll window mode, looping enabled. And uh, let's just go ahead and do borderless full screen. Run custom. That should that should give us a good idea of the actual actual Continuous marks, because I don't have Afterburner installed, so we don't have the overlay right now. The fans, uh, the fans are loud, yeah. They are. Okay, so 93 watts. 93 watts. 96 watts. Uh, I don't know. This might affect it whether you're actually full screen into the machine or into the 3D window. So right now we're peaking at 96 watts, 92 watts. So we're looking at around the, a little bit above 90. Hey, there's 98 watts. So I guess it'll just depend. We need to actually do more testing to get an idea, but it's, it's, it's a 90 to 105 range, it appears. So there you go. Um... Okay, so thanks so much for watching the unboxing, the live unboxing of the GS66 Stealth. I'll have a full review of this probably in about a week or two, 10-ish days probably before it's fully done and out. But I'll be doing live benchmarks here probably in four or five days of this machine. So if you don't want to miss out on that whole live stream and experience all the benchmarks live, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I have lots of other reviews coming as well. Um, let me go ahead and enter egg. The giveaway announcement has already been made. Uh, I did do a Asus ROG Strix G17 giveaway today as well. And congratulations to Moby for winning that. There was, I think, almost 2,000 people live on the stream when we did the giveaway. It was pretty awesome. Um, what are the temps? I didn't check the temps. Uh, 
Willapa. But I'll have a whole temperature stress test breakdown for you guys uh, when I do my benchmarking and then also in the review as well. So uh, you'll want to not miss out on that if you, if you can. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the live stream. I'm exhausted because I've live streamed for about seven hours today. It's been nutty. I'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon, out. Have a good one.